Here we are at the entrance of the Orchard Beach State Park. We stayed here a couple days uh, recently and this is my review of the facility. Now here's our site at Orchard Beach and um, it's not level at all. It's maybe a 10 degree slope. Now when I book this thing I always check online uh, for photos and a description on whether it's level or not and this supposedly was a level site according to description but as you can see it's anything but level. I was able to get it pretty close with my uh, levelers but this is the extent of it. I can't quite get uh, the thing completely level so I'm not going to put the slide out, out for the next three days. One of the issues I have with using the slide out is if it's not level I think that's where you get a lot of problems with them jamming. However, it is level enough to use the refrigerator, so that's not an issue. So, just a minor convenience for the next three days. And when you look at this campground, um, about half the sites are not level. So it's laid out kind of poorly by whoever did the thing. I have to say though, um, a lot of the sites are real nice and grassy. They're not worn as like a lot of them are, but like a lot of the state parks are. It was still booked solid today, so you know it gets plenty of use. Um, it is a small one though; it's about a 200 sites maybe, so it's not very large. But we'll make the best of it. Well, if you want to stay at Orchard Beach, uh, I recommend the sites on the southwest end because you got the greatest view of Lake Michigan here. Quite a walk down to the beach here, but once you get down to the bottom, bring yourself a cooler and a couple chairs and just sit here for the whole afternoon. A lot of nice little scenic spots here along this trail in the park. We're on kind of a cliff overlooking Lake Michigan. And there's a nice little shelter and picnic area here at the top of the hill uh, at the state park. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's much access to the beach. We're still on a hill on a cliff about 100 feet, 150 feet above the waterline. And so far, we've only seen uh, one set of steps going down to the beach, but we're still exploring. Well, we're at the beach level of Orchard Beach State Park. Some 76 steps uh, and the uh, stairs to get down here. In the background is the city of Manistee. It's a quite beautiful day today. Which, as you can see, um, not much of a beach here. In fact, compared to the other beaches on Lake Michigan, such as Grand Haven, Holland, Muskegon, and such, I'd only give this maybe a C. A lot of stones in the water, which you will not usually find uh, in the more southern beaches. So. There's actually a lot better places than this if you want to go to the beach. Well, here's a bit more panoramic of a view of the uh, camping area at Orchard Beach. And uh, like I said, it's fairly small. This is it basically from here all the way down to this end. At Orchard Beach State Park every day, but on Sunday, a trolley comes by once a day to give a hours tour of the city of Manistee. It's about six bucks a piece for adults, so that's another option for something to do here. The cell phone service and even the uh, data service, this 1G, 3G, 4G, is just about non-existent here. Uh, it is very difficult to get a signal uh, for even a telephone, let alone data. And one of the issues that I do see is right here, you can see uh, that the time is 8.10. Well, it's actually 9.10, to tell you the truth. What's happening is um, we're on the lake shore of Lake Michigan and across about 40, 50 miles of water at this point uh, in where the lake is, is Wisconsin. And one of the reasons why I know that I'm connecting to some of the uh, cell phone towers across the lake in Wisconsin is that Wisconsin is on central time here in Michigan we're on Eastern Time and every once in a while my cell phone will show that we're an hour behind. The only possible way that that can happen is if it's connecting to a 
tower in Central Time, and the only towers in Central Time were in Wisconsin. Well, even though the scenery isn't quite as good as at other state parks, you still get that beautiful sunset uh, over the lake on any location along the western shoreline of Lake Michigan.